Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today here at Two Wheel Thunder TV. We're in Cleveland, Ohio. In January, for Pete's sakes, uh, a lot of people wouldn't even come to Cleveland and, and this time of the year. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is here, but one other very special thing here this weekend is the International Expo Show, a motorcycle show, great show. Robert, appreciate you joining us. You're the spokesperson for all this wonderful thing. Tell us a little bit about the show, what's going on, how long you've been with it. Today's family day. Great time to be out here. You know, we really love coming to Cleveland. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it, but Ohio is the highest motorcyclist per capita, and so there's there's more motorcycles in this state per head than, than anywhere else in the nation. That's correct. And, and what's really exciting uh, about coming to this show is we've got a lot of enthusiasts that come, and they really have a head full of knowledge, and they're looking for people who can answer their questions. Uh, they're looking for the latest and greatest in aftermarket and the, the newest products, and, and that's really what the International Motorcycle Shows provides. Uh, and and, I, you know, I've been the spokesperson of the show for about five years now, uh, and, and I haven't missed a show in that five years. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I've been with the show for about ten years prior, you know, working with other brands and that sort of thing. So, so what I've come to realize, this is perfect for Cleveland, too, is that this motorcycle show is like the rock and roll tour for motorcycles. Oh, it is. It absolutely it really is. is. You know? and, uh, and you hit on some important stuff for us. Uh, we are a family show. And uh, Sundays we do, uh, you know, kids 11 and under are free. And so we'll see a lot of kids coming into the show. That's right. And that's really the future of our sport. So that's something that's important to us and, uh, uh, and, and one of the real hallmarks of the show. Well, and it's admirable that you, you know that. As we build the future generation of motorcycle enthusiasts, one of the other things that we noticed about the show, and we covered shows from L.A. to Miami, this is more of a high class, more of a high-end show. I've talked to the vendors. Many times you go and you talk to the vendors and they're all complaining about this, that, and the other. We've been here since Friday afternoon. I've not met one disgruntled vendor. That says, that speaks volumes about what you're doing. The other thing that I've noticed is you've got all the different motorcycles. You've got the V-Twin, you've got the Metrics, you've got the Brit bikes, and not just one or two of them. Every one of these guys of have got 12, 15 bikes on that's the floor. Right. Now that's great that you can pull all this together like that. It makes it something where you don't stay home. You want to come to an event like this. It's high class, it's first rate. The show is easy to navigate. You can get around, even Saturday. I mean, it was a zoo in here Saturday morning. That's right. But you could still, the traffic was moving, vendors were happy, the, the exhibitors were doing good. You're doing a, a phenomenal job with what you're doing like that. Well, you have to uh, be commended on that. You're heaping too much credit on the uh, the guy who's standing in front of the camera. I mean, there's so much that happens behind the scenes, and and you guys know this from all the uh, the the different events that you go to, and and really our sales team works very closely with the vendors to try and get them that optimal spot on the floor. If it's a more American themed vendor, then they're going to want to be a little closer to Harley Davidson. Sure. If it's a, you know, a brand that leans more towards European stuff like I don't know, like GV uh, uh, motorcycle trunks, they're going to want to lean more towards Ducati and Triumph and that kind of thing. So, so we work with those folks to try and make sure that they're as happy as possible and as connected as possible as they are to our customers. But really, I mean, the heart and soul of this show is the crew that puts it together. And the crew that puts it together are motorcyclists. I mean, these are people who understand, you know, what it is as a rider we want to see. I mean, I've got seven motorcycles at home myself. Outstanding. Yeah, that's Outstanding. right. I'm, I'm doing my best to support the economy. There you, you know? go. And, and, uh, and I, as many of these shows as I've come to, I never leave without buying something. I always I always find something. I'm like, oh, wow, I don't, I don't have gloves like that. Or I got these really cool rock straps at the show this weekend. And I mean, it's, it's you know, it's, uh, it's exciting to come to the show uh, and to put this show on. And to see it, you know, as a big empty hall when we come in on a uh, on a on a Wednesday or a Tuesday night, and then just to see everything get built up, and then and watch the doors open on Friday, and just honestly see a lot of smiling, happy people on the way out. Everybody's excited. The enthusiasm is just electrifying when you come in. We got here a little early Friday. Came in through the press back through the back doors. And when they opened the doors, it was like the, the starting of the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> All these people were pouring in the doors, and we're thinking, because we missed the parking lot, the general parking lot. Where did all these people come from? That's you right. know, And they were just pouring in and pouring in. And, and it was just a wonderful thing. And then when they got in, 
they were excited about being here. It wasn't like, oh, here's another motorcycle show. And like you said, they're finding stuff. And we go through there, well, I could use one of these. And you said, well, I've got something similar to that, but I'd still like to have one of these. And you've got a wide variety of things like that, that people can come. You find uh, aftermarket products, uh, gear for your bikes, uh, T-shirts, the whole nine yards are here. But the enthusiasm at the show, it, it's just contagious. Everybody's excited about being here. Uh, Friday night when I was trying to get everybody to go home, the speaker was saying, we're closing at nine o'clock. We're closed, you know, it's time to leave. Time to go, yeah, you know, right. And there's still people here, and then the security guys are saying, it's time that you got to go now, yeah. you know? But the people didn't want to leave. That's right. That speaks volumes about what you do, and your staff, your crew, and all those people deserve a tremendous amount of credit for what they do here. Well, you got a Ferris wheel here, for Christ's sakes, for the people to ride. Yeah, I, I'd like to say we brought that in, but that belongs <laughs> with the building, you know. But the, uh, you know, the thing to really know about the International Motorcycle Shows, as I alluded to before, it's a rock and roll tour. We do 12 of these shows over the course of about 20 weeks. Uh, and uh, so we pick this stuff up and we move to the next venue. So, I mean, your magazine covers a huge part of this country and we do shows in Dallas. We have a show in uh, Minnesota next weekend. Uh, we're gonna be in Chicago. We're in, you know, I mean, we're in a bunch of different cities and uh, all that information's on our website, motorcycleshows.com. Okay. You know, I'm sure you guys are on Facebook, and, okay. and we're on Facebook, too. And there's a lot of uh, interviews and photographs and behind-the-scenes stuff. And, and that's things the that, cool stuff. That's the cool, fun stuff right. for us, you know. And, and, uh, and, and I think that the personality of the show really comes through. Uh, we love seeing families come out here. We love seeing the hardcore guys come out. You know, I mean, this is not like that crazy party. It's not a party night kind of thing, but this is like where riders need to be. Right. This is where their buddies are. It's freezing cold outside, you know, and, and uh, but you know what, I'll tell you, it's freezing cold, but on Friday, we had to refund one guy uh, his parking because he rode his motorcycle, and we offer free motorcycle parking, so so that, that that's the toughest guy in Cleveland, as far as I know. He rode his bike in, we paid him back for his parking, and said, yeah, come on in, welcome to the show. So. No kidding, he, he deserved it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was dying Friday freezing, I was complaining the whole way, and, and somebody told me about this guy, and they refunded his money. I said, that's a wonderful thing. You should have done that. I mean, if you can ride your bike in this weather, God bless you. You know, you're you're a true rider at that's heart. Right. Now tell me your website again. Motorcycleshows.com. Uh, you know, we've been doing this for 30 years. This is our 30th anniversary this year. And, uh, and you know, you never have it exactly. It's like when you build a custom bike. You always are like, oh man, I could have done this. I could have done that. And when we look at the shows, we're you like, you know, it next year, year it's going to be a little bit. We're going to do this. We're going to try that. So the show experience is different every year. This last year, the uh, the team at Advanced are really they put in a lot of money and a lot of effort, and it and it's really been uh, you know an excellent season for us. And and we're hoping to see everybody out there uh, you know on the road riding their motorcycles, and and hopefully they had a good time while they were here. Well, I'm sure they did. I know we have. As far as Two World Thunder TV and Riding On Magazine, we've had a ball here this weekend. The people, the staff, everybody's been good. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to put that web address down at the bottom of this video clip. Hopefully our techies will get it straight and it'll be a hot link directly to yours. If not, copy, cut, and paste it into your browser. Go to their website. Find out where one of the shows are going to be locally in your area. Make it a point. Get it on your BlackBerry, your iPad, whatever the case may be. It's really worth the time to come out. This is one of the shows, it's like some of the classy shows that we've covered before, but this is one of the top notch shows that it's really worth the distance that you gotta go, the weather that you gotta endure, because the quality, the enthusiasm, and the people at the show, it's really worth the time. So ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you for joining us here in Cleveland, Ohio. We really appreciate it, Rob. It's been a ball, my friend. It's been fun, Jimmy, and we'll see you next year, and I hope to see all you guys out on the road at some point. Outstanding. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here in uh, Cleveland. We'll see you next year.